Rethinking Editorial Content in the Digital Space. This episode of Today in News Tech is made possible with audio articles by our hometown.com. In an internal presentation, Gannett lays out the case for a new set of guidelines regarding editorial and opinion content across its holdings of over 250 local news outlets. According to Rick Edmonds at Pointer, a series of reader surveys and a task force of editors have persuaded executives to recommend a new chain-wide pattern as part of Gannett's push to make digital content its focus. Gannett's report finds that their opinion content on the whole is among the least read content, is directly tied to problems in perceived credibility and trust, is frequently cited for cancellations, and no longer holds the same relevance in exerting community leadership. The presentation lays out four guidelines for its publishers. Curtail volume in favor of quality, focus on opinion packages fewer days per week or month. Sharpen relevance, narrow your focus to local issues only. Based on this, we are eliminating most syndicated national opinion content. Added transparency, sign any editorials, and, for that matter, dissents your board chooses to write. Conciliatory tone, steer toward solutions and resolutions over divisions and conflict. Opinion pages have been a part of U.S. newspapers since the 19th century as an integral component, adding commentary and context to news coverage. How important are the opinions published in your local newspaper? As social media, for better or worse, usurp traditional outlets as a source for opinion and commentary? Let us know what you think. Today in News Tech, the podcast covering innovation in digital journalism. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe on YouTube or any of your favorite podcast apps. We'll see you tomorrow. At our hometown, we help newspapers build WordPress websites, design native apps, and develop digital subscription models. If you are interested in a free prototype of your publication on WordPress, go to ourhometown.com and click the Contact Us button.